man, it would be great if this mission started and it was just every single merc that's still alive just shelling the thing and it just dies. I want to play a game like that Approach at some point complete. where the villain is just wildly you unprepared. Have at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is very high. Connecting radar system to the search probe in the mission area. Deploying short range radar. Radar is unaffected. Establishing a data link between all units through their respective squad leaders. Opening communications channel. Grief won't come out. Well, I don't intend to let him keep us waiting. All squads, begin the all out attack. Bullet works, split into smaller teams and get in there. You hanging in there, Zoa? I'm good. Could use a breather soon, though. The quicker we crush these fools, the sooner we can celebrate. Sounds good to me. You're buying, though. Oh, that's just a full-on stry. Eat bullet numbers. Not sure what happens at the bottom of that. Probably shouldn't mess with that too much. So, how should we do this? Kill them all. What else? I'm already locked on. Wicked. Let's go, girls. I guess you can just go down here. Yes, Empress. Well, that's a high tier Grim Reaper. Sure, I'll take it. So, no one noticed this thing? What is this thing? I don't know. Screw it. What if we just go past all of this? See ya. Ow. We are but two against a veritable army. Does that concern you, young master? Not at all. Their superior numbers are no match against our combined might. You speak true, though I would expect nothing less from the Patriarch of House Valentine. Twould seem moderation is no longer required. Yes. Let us enforce justice. In the name of House Valentine! <laughs> I'd actually be hilarious. Villain's plan revolves around slowly killing off the mercs. The game only expects you to save some of them, but you save them all in the final battle. Opens with them horribly outnumbered and outgunned. I was actually I collect, but this time, the price is your lives. Crude, but appropriate in the situation. I'm fighting with my crew. Hello and goodbye. Now we're cooking. I'ma kill these suckers dead. I hope you're watching, Klondike. Let the game begin! I'm gonna feel real foolish if I was supposed to actually go back and fight everything, but whatever. Where are all these things coming from? It's a little too late to be asking that. Alert. Detecting two arsenals and strong femto responses from each one. The femto responses are more powerful than those of standard arsenals. You will go no further. If you wish to pass this point, you must defeat us. If you can, that is. You are too late. All you can do is submit to the never ending spiral. I will not allow anyone to interfere. Where are they? Diablo and Johnny G are heading toward the rookie's position. The three of them should rendezvous shortly. You hear that? I want you three to form a new squad and break through no matter what. Squad composition reorganized. Re-establishing data link. Yes, sir. You get all that, Johnny? Loud and clear. Rookie, don't rush too far ahead of us. We've got to keep our damage as low as possible till we can bring the fight to grief. Oops. You would cross swords with me. Amusing. I will put you in your place. Okay, so I do a lot of damage now. Huh. 
I don't really know if he's fighting back. Oh, we lost him. Wait, no. Didn't lose him. He left. I really hate how they'll just dodge right out of the mission area. Your defiant naivete is endearing, if nothing else. Oh, that's chaff. That's what he's got. So it also looks like he's got the uh, Hella missile or Hella laser cannon that I've got. Why? Why can't I defeat them? Calm yourself, Gloom. You're too far from the Dominator. What? When did that happen? Gotcha, Lieutenant. On it. Damn. We've got them held up. Now's your chance, rookie. Infiltrate the Dominator. Get out of my way! I can't let them through! Yeah, right. Go, rookie. You've got this under control. Give them hell, rookie. We're counting on you. Do they even know who I am? Does anybody? Does nobody realize I'm a fake person that grief made? Or Attention. did that slip everybody's... The center. And that is... At last you've come. Do you remember what I told you? The future is already decided. Nothing you do will change it. Fate's threads once spun cannot be unspun. Yes, the future will remain unchanged. And yet, there is one thing I do not know. We created you because your existence was necessary once all had been spun. You have done well, Damon. I cannot thank you enough. Now, you have come here for the reason I have, in search of the answer to the question. Which of us will become the scion of the Dominator's will? Don't think this has anything to do with whether one of us is truly right. That would be a mistake. This is more complicated than that. Those people out there seem to believe this is some plan of my own creation, but they are wrong. This is the will of the Dominator. Humanity must free itself from bondage and advance to the next stage. No. Their advancement has already been decided. In the end, it doesn't matter whether the final thread in Fate's weave is you or me. Because you are me. But if possible, if I could exercise just a modicum of self-indulgence, I'd like to remain as I am now in the future. The preparations are finished. There is still time before the fated moment arrives. I'm sure this small length of time was itself woven into our fates. I will have you join me in my self-indulgence. Let's decide who is most worthy of reaching the future. Why do they make no attempt to understand? Can you hear the voice of the Dominator? Boy, I'm sick of that missile launcher he's got already. truly know what is to come. You have no reason to fear the coming end. It is the foundation upon which the promised future rests. I feel fantastic. The more you resist me, the more assured I am of the truth. Well, if he's going to be stunlocking me, I'll just summon friend. Okay. 
Can you can you stand still? God damn. Every one of the Oval Link has a reason to fight, to survive, to save their loved ones, to end fighting itself. Do you see them? All their reasons point to the future. Their hopes are mine. All futures folded upon themselves. Will our woven future ascend or yours? Holy crap, I am beefy. Turns out maxing defense actually has benefits. Why did you come here? To kill me? No. You should already know. Oh. Oh, that's how you switch from pylon. I have lost him again. Uh. God, this is like this is must be must be what it's like when you're fighting somebody with instant transmission. Where the shit? Okay, there he is. Oh, he's just been, been missing his dumb platform. Toward the future, you fight on equal terms with me. Even now, you attempt to surpass me. Everything I will surpass you, Dingus. Without question, okay. you are me. <laughs> Even Look. the pain coursing through my body from the arsenal's neural link fills me with joy. The future we... <clears throat> For... Will I lose? Tell me. Attention. A portion of your firearm's control system is disabled. Femto core synchronicity is unstable. Generator output currently at 62% and plummeting. I see. How unfortunate that in the end, I could not witness the promised future unfold. But so be it. Alert. Exceeding unit's action threshold. Detecting errors in the main system. Reboot is impossible. Now, it begins. I am. We. All functions have ceased. Grief, your... Sup, Dominator. Attention. Grief's arsenal is confirmed to be inactive. However, you are not yet victorious. Grief, you're not giving up? Arsenal Neuralink re-established. Signal detected. Detecting an influx of femto particles from Grief's body into his arsenal. Initiating arsenal boot sequence. <coughs> Data link. Normal. Generator pool. Normal. Energy limiter released. Electromagnetic armor operating at 700% and rising. Weapon safety mechanism released. Detecting femto response from Grief's arsenal. Femto core reactivating. Unknown energy. Correction. This is not energy. A massive data signal is eroding space. Rewriting main system kernel. Processing. Vast quantities of data are backflowing from the neural link circuit. Searching for Grief's vital signs. Wait, is this grief? Who are you? What do you mean? I am grief. I'm supposed to be grief. What? What's happening? The main system is being overwritten by vast quantities of backflowing data. This is an abnormal situation. Shouldn't the future already be decided? My head is shattering! Main system overwrite complete. This situation is abnormal, yet everything is operating as normal. Arsenal rebooting. Grief's unit is currently rebooting, but it is no longer recognizable as an arsenal. Analyzing. 
I can no longer distinguish Grief's neural patterns from his unit's control signals. I will ask again. Who are you? I am. We are. Analysis complete. Alert. That is the Dominator. No. I am grief. For now, at least. It seems I want to win. Just accepting it wasn't enough. That's why I was given the right to choose. No. I was given the duty of choosing. Fine. I shall make the decision of my own will. If that is what is necessary to open the path to the future. Attention. The battle has not ended yet. Maintaining active state of combat readiness. Continue the mission. As I am now, I could bring down the moon at any time. But before I do, I must root out the source of my sin. I will cast aside what little remains of my humanity and bid us both farewell. Goodbye. Futile. As I am now, I know all there is to know of the world. Everything in the distant past is also the future. It is illusory. Words cannot explain it. What are words? The useless vestiges of humanity's ignorance. Okay, so I haven't fought this thing before. I fought a bunch of bosses, uh, as part of my grinding. Ow. Okay, so it looks like the, um... Alert. Detecting a strong gravitational response from the Dominator. Displaying the projected area of effect. It has launched a powerful graviton mass. Touching it would be extremely dangerous. Hmm. So it looks like he just fires th these things out. They're annoying. They're not that strong. I was kind of hoping I could permanently destroy them, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So I ma mainly have to just aim for him. I guess. I'm legitimately curious how I'm supposed to get more ammo here. I mean, unless I specifically shoot him and him alone. Because I have no bullets left after this. Can I have unlimited ammo at the very least? Like, if he's going to turn into this, can I, can I at least get unlimited ammo? Maybe, like, a very slow heal. Okay. I guess I have one alternative. Which is, I have an ally button. Which helps a bit. Helps a lot. Wow. Okay. Those lasers need to chill. See, if these dropped, like, little ammo bits, 
Or even like health packs. That makes this a little bit more tolerable. Either that or I'm not supposed to... Either that or I'm just straight up not supposed to win. Thank you, Mirage, for existing. Well, what do we got down here? There's got to be something. Nope. I have a sword. <sighs> okay. The lights in the center can be thrown. These things? Wait, I'm confused by lights in the center. Freaking, that hurt. These things? Or these things? Okay, so... He's doing douchey things for a bit. Do this. Ow. Got him. Choice has been made. The Dominator's response is weakening. I have not lost. This is just one process that leads to one potential future. All futures will eventually converge. Perhaps in the very depths of my soul I feared it. Maybe I wanted to believe I would not be the one to save humanity from its fated destruction. Or... Did I? I don't even know anymore. If the bonds you forged through battle can rewrite fate itself, perhaps. 
Perhaps humanity is not as foolish as I believed. Finally, I am freed. But before I disappear, I must tell you something. In the future, I saw. The barrier encasing this world had come down. And I guided the next stage of human evolution. To the stars and beyond. Still, I had doubts that I alone could decide humanity's future. That's why I created you. To share the responsibility placed upon me. Escaping the spiral of annihilation to proliferate across the cosmos. This is originally supposed to happen before a planetary system expires. We only fell here due to unforeseen circumstances. Yes, that is the true reason intelligent life was sired on this planet. Thus, to fulfill the task assigned by my creator, I had to accelerate the process in its entirety. Now choose. Will you help us achieve life's true purpose? Or will you search this land for a hope that can never be found? So what do you guys think? Do we go with the, yeah, belief in humanity or forcibly evolve humanity into spacefaring beings? Is this the first choice you get to make in the game? Yes. It's kind of tacky. I don't really know. I did hope. Can't let Johnny G down. Yeah, see, that's where I'm at. Like, I don't want to see both endings. We could do that. Eh. Can't let Johnny G down. He's the only friend we had. Also, eh. Uh, The end has come. I am the Deus Ex Machina. What you call the Dominator from my multitude of names. I am not a single existence, nor am I a legion of existences. What I am, I am. As the Scion who will inherit the gift that is my power, Damon, I'm certain you understand now. All I can do is give you the power to decide. Repeat it since time immemorial, in multiple new worlds across the cosmos. What goal will you pursue? Where will you go? The reins of this planet are yours. You're alive! Hey! Over here! Over here! Wait, that's it? That's... that's the ending? Also, apparently if I chose the other one, it would have just kicked us back to the title screen. Really now. Okay. So, for those of you that are incredibly lost, luckily I have been paying some attention to this game and I can tell you I don't understand it goddamn- Actually, no, I understand quite a lot. So, 
let's talk about what happened in this game. For starters, who is the rookie? The rookie is a fake person made by grief to apparently share the burden of leading humanity into the future. What that exactly means, I'm not entirely sure, just because effectively it just meant that, like, I could come in and just dick him over at the very end and just be like, you don't get to make the crucial decisions, I do. I, the personality-less hack that you just spit out of a test tube thing. Anywho, so, he makes me, for unclear, dumb reasons, and more or less just says, like, Vamoose, go into the world, save humanity, kind of, sort of, but really just kind of hang out and do things while I do all the stuff. Could I clue you into my master plan, seeing as you're supposed to be my backup running process? Like, they called us Daemon, which means demon, but it also means a background process that is not controlled by the user, which is supposed to be kind of... Uh, grief was supposed to be the user, we were the daemon, we are the background process running the entire time that he has no control over. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean in terms of this plot, apart from the fact that I guess we screwed him over because... <sighs> God, we're Windows Update. Grief's like, man, I'm working a real hard on this pro, pro uh, really hard on this this project, and I come in and I'm like, no, kick him out, and there we go. Let's see, Damon isn't demon. Actually, it is. A E is an archaic spelling of demon. Anyway, so he lets us loose into the wild for unclear reasons, and we more or less just screw around until it's time to kick his ass. Let's roll back the clock. So. That's who Rookie is. What's going on with the world? The world was effectively seeded by this this ancient machine that did a pit stop on Earth. Apparently, we just learned that at the end. And it's over the course of history, the moon, which apparently was the dominator, was trying to influence us into evolving in some way. And I'm not really sure why it was having so much trouble. Humans are dumb as shit. So either it sucks or its method sucked, and I'm not really sure why. But effectively, it gets sick of our shit, blows half of itself up, prematurely, I think, too. Like, I don't think it was supposed to happen this early, question mark. Blasts a piece of the moon into Earth to forcibly evolve a small subset of humans, creating the Outers, which are kind of, like, bonus-tier humans. I'm not really sure if they're extra uh, special in any way, but I guess they have better reflexes, at least, so they can pilot mechs. Uh, and so every single character you saw over the course of this game is an outer, with the exception of maybe Immortal Innocence, because they were, uh, fake people that were made to be immortal, I'm not entirely sure. I guess we had a couple of zombies, and also the butler was pure human. But anyway, beyond that, uh, it was, its plan was to effectively just forcibly, uh, evolve human humanity using the femto particles, question mark, and or just call the rest of the moon down onto Earth. Which is really confusing. Because, like, this seems like a really stupid plan to begin with, but uh, ten mech pilots are sent to the crash site of the moon to figure out what's going on there, including grief, uh, gloom, and despair. There we go. I was going to say doom and gloom, but that, that was... That would have been a better name for them both, but whatever. A little campier, but this game needed that. Anyway, so ten people are sent, three come back, maybe four came back? I'm not entirely sure. And effectively, they've been changed into outers, and a bunch of other people had been changed into outers. And effectively, uh, I, I don't exactly know why they quarantined the area, but effectively they made this giant quarantine area around this impact site called the Oval. And I was under the impression... Okay, the three survivors are the original six. Okay, I'm off by a little bit. Uh, they didn't really explain that at all well. I missed the count. Anyway, they make a quarantine zone around this thing, but then a bunch of people live inside? Yeah, they quarantined it because femto particles are lethal to humans. But then there were, like, people inside of it for some reason? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and a bunch of AIs from outside the Oval start, you know, just invading because the AIs are like, oh, shit. You know, the Dominator's bad news, everyone. And those are the, uh... Those are the Immortals. And so the Immortals were actually just trying to help humanity the, this entire time. Wait. The original mission is on a YouTube thing that they don't tell you exists. It's the Mission Zero thing on YouTube. What the sna- That's- that's some Final Fantasy XV bullshit where they're like, Hey, watch the movie beforehand, also the animation to understand who these characters are. Anyway, 
So, gre uh, I don't know, humanity goes under the oval for some reason, AIs start invading, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, effectively, grief just powwows around for a while before eventually being like, well, time to drop the moon on everybody. And it's like, I, I get it. I don't. This had a lot of potential, but I feel like whoever, whoever wrote this had a much bigger idea. And then a director and or a producer came and took half the script. No, 90% of the script. And it's like, no, you can't have this. This last 10% is good. Make it work with the game that we've made. And the guy looks at the game and it's like, this wasn't the game I was writing for. And they're like, too bad. And that's... <sighs> anyway, so uh, if we had actually decided to go like the let life takes it, take its course or like fulfill life's purpose, it would have forcibly evolved like some amount of humanity and killed the rest. And then we would have been able to go to the stars. But like, uh, there's a Reddit thread that explains this apparently better. That's just what I got from playing. Was the gameplay fun at least? That's the first time I've seen this. Yes and no. The gameplay peaks in about the f first seven hours, and then after that, it's actually just more of the same the entire way through. You don't really get a whole lot of new features. Uh, almost all of the guns classify into bazooka, machine gun, laser rifle, and shoulder weapon. Which was either homing missiles or laser cannons. And to be honest, laser cannons weren't worth it. No enemy stayed still long enough to ever use them. Shotguns were pointless most of the time just because they didn't do enough damage. Laser rifles were good, but ran out of ammo real fast. So ultimately, the really shitty starting machine gun that you went with was one of the best weapons throughout the entire game, and you just upgraded it a couple of times, and there you go. And the parts didn't really feel like the parts were even that important. You'd switch out the arms and armor, and it just gave you minor statistical benefits. I I love the idea of this, but the problem is they did, they put all of their work into the wrong thing, and I'm not actually sure what took the most amount of work in this, uh, but I, I feel like they would have been more successful with a slower, more methodical gameplay, because the high-flying stuff was cool, but at that point they should have just thrown out, they should have just copied DBZ instead. And, I don't know. I, I think it's, if they were to make another one of these and really, like, took the time to refine it, it would have been so good. But, they didn't, and so it's this, like, really weird... It's not bad. It's just nothing that I would generally recommend or ever play again, because I just... I like the idea of a high-flying, interesting mech game. But there's so many holes, it feels like Swiss cheese. <sighs> and so, like, yeah, if they actually made, like, a Damon X Machina 2, and either slowed the gameplay down or really made it work with the high-flying stuff and gave you a lot more options to play around with, more interesting weapons, more interesting a lot of stuff, I think I would have been super down for it. But the problem is, it couldn't rely on the plot to carry it forward like some RPGs can. And it couldn't rely on the gameplay to carry the plot forward like some other JRPGs can. So it's kind of this just awkward, like, yeah, it's like 66% of a good game. And it needed that last 33% to really, like, hmm. Oh, well. Anywho. I definitely would still say, if you were, like, a big fan of mech games, probably worth trying this one out for 20 bucks. Don't finish it, but, like, it's still worth a play for at least a while. Uh, again, especially early on, when the game's a little bit more balanced. And, uh... And, like, built better, question mark. Hey, we have a message from Johnny G. We defeated Grief, but BG didn't want to reveal publicly that we saved humanity from annihilation. He didn't think that the time was right. Also foretold us that the Overlink project's over. We immediately found out what that meant. The barriers surrounding the Oval Link? No, I guess the Oval Link itself started to open up. Let me tell you, that was a huge news. That was huge news all around the world. After all, femto particles are fatal to non-outers. 
But apparently the consortiums have begun developing tech that will neutralize the harmful effects of fent femto particles. I don't know what this tech does exactly, but BG says it'll help humanity survive. Unfortunately, that means the bat battle over Femto won't be ending anytime soon, but I'm not too disappointed about that. The world still needs reclaimers like you and me. We gotta keep fighting and hope everything works out in the end. Until the day this world of ours finally reclaims its blue sky. Anywho. I know there's still some stuff in multiplayer. Interestingly enough, there's actually a whole bunch of bosses. Like, I'm gonna go over this. Uh, there's a whole bunch of bosses that we straight up haven't even seen. Some are variants, most of them are variants. Uh, but there's Zeracroar, which I actually thought was the last boss. But it's not. It's a, it's a multiplayer only boss. I don't know. I'm confused by it, but... Yeah, so there's that. I don't think I'm going to record it because fighting it is awful. Uh, there's a couple of different versions of Gunfort, which is where I got the missile launcher from. Uh, let's see. We've already seen Nightmare, Bolts, and Rebellion, and Dreadnought. Snatcher's interesting. Uh, oh, there's the Dominator. Uh, Snatcher's interesting because it's a freaking train. I'm just going to set this to, to one. We're going to load in and take a look at this thing, but... I guess we can take a look at both of these. I'm not actually going to bother fighting them because multiplayer is balanced around having four people, even if you reduce the the um, the amount of people like in the lobby. So four times as much HP, and boy are they aggressive. So I don't really want to fight them uh, on camera and commentating over it because God, fighting it alone was awful. Old Monster Hunter issues. Yup. Anyway, so this is freaking Snatcher. It's just a giant train. It's honestly probably the easiest immortal I fought, but I just don't want to fight it. After a certain point, you knock off the back, and uh, it just starts charging at you relentlessly, which is, again, funny, but not really a boss fight. Anyway, that, that, that. And we're going to go take a look at the other one, who is going to destroy me. I did not enjoy fighting this guy in the slightest. Seriously, I thought this guy was going to be the last boss. Let's see, go into partner settings in the console and you can bring along NPCs. That would have helped me a lot. I just ended up going with... I had unlimited ammo and I just practiced dodging, which actually worked fairly well-ish. Anyway, check this thing out. I thought this was going to be a last boss, or an important boss, or something. Also, check out that sky. This, I think, I think this was supposed to be the last boss. After Moonfall or something. Like, there is shit going on here that is just worrisome. And I have no idea what it means. He's bringing down pieces of the moon. He's big, he's tanky. Uh, he's zipping all over the place. He's like an arsenal, but he's huge. I mean, look at him go! Um... He's got, like, spinning lasers and shit. Uh, he's actually one of the first enemies that I fought in this game that actually managed to blow off a, um... Like, an arm. And admittedly, I'm doing enough damage to him that I might be able to beat him solo, but I don't think it's worth it. He can actually blast his armor off, too, which is kind of neat. But yeah, I don't know where this guy was supposed to be in the plot. But, uh... <laughs> they did not add him. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> he gives me. Anywho. So, that's more or less it for Damon X Machina. Uh... Again, very much would love to see them give this another go. With either a higher budget or just, like... Some practice. I mean, they've hopefully had practice. Um... Just because, like, we do need more mech games. I just... I, I really want it to... Ah. It's disappointing. It could have been so much better. That's really it. But again. 10, 20 bucks? I don't think that would... I don't think you'd feel like that was wasted money if you picked it up for that price. 50? Eh. But oh well. 